everybody, it's Delios from Batman TV with my very first Lego Juniors review. It is the Joker Bat Cave Attack. Sorry for my brother playing in the background, I can't help that. But anyway, this set is recommended for ages 4 to 7. It's at number 10753 or 107353. Um, I don't know how many pieces it comes with, but... Let's just get into that, starting with the packaging. So, let's get a good... So, it doesn't have too much... So, it's a pretty thick um, box. We have this Batman when we go. We have the Batwing and the Batcave itself. On the back, we have that easily mailed and shows you how to build the Batwing. And the instructions. They also don't have too much artwork. But they do have, have a little comic book at the back. I think that's pretty adorable. And it says, the fun continues. So, getting on to the build. Now, we're going to start out with the back cave. Now, before we get into the back cave, keep in mind that we are missing a piece right here. But what would actually be put is that there would be a trans yellow cylinder piece. And one of these... um hitch pieces on here so that's what it would look like so that's what it would look like and we'll start with the middle section so on the back we have this symbol of the batman logo we have the little bat on top and i really like this print i think it looks really good um the back doesn't have much then we have the jail it's it's not too much i mean Whoops, I accidentally broke off the handle. Um, we have a open door with bars, a little spotlight, but yeah. And then we have this little computer section for Robin. We have the lights, but yeah, nothing too interesting. But now we'll get into the build, starting with the Batwing. Uh, let me bring the camera a little bit forward. Um, so. Over uh, here's the Batwing. We have this little space to put Batman in. And they actually give you four studs, so I guess you can fit too many figures if you want to. Like, I did not want, which is why there's a piece missing. Or two pieces, actually. We have that nice print, a little computer. And we have some play futures. And... So, yeah, nothing too interesting. And this is actually meant to represent the Bat symbol. Because as it looks um, weird. Anyway, now we're going on to the final design. The Joker's car. Now, I've always wanted a car design for the Joker. And sorry that I moved the camera around. It's just to get better looks. But anyway, yeah, it, it has this nice print with the Joker smile. We have this little brown seat for the Joker. Some drama in the back. But yeah, it's really colourful actually. It does have this nice ball and chain piece. So that's it for the build. And now let's get into the minifigures, starting with Batman. And um, this is my favourite minifigure of all time. My Lego Batman movie review from yesterday. I said that he had a utility belt piece, but this utility belt is printed, which I like a little bit better. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> And I thought I heard my um, brother fall down, but never mind. Anyway, it does have some nice back print in. And this is actually a new Junior's cape piece, and the first time I've seen a soft cloth cape in the Junior's sets. But yeah, this is actually my favourite Batman of minifigure of all time, and my favourite minifigure of all time. So moving on to probably my favourite minifigure of the set, not of all time robin now he's the main reason why i got this set when i was uh i think it was january he has this face print now this is actually the jason todd robin not the dick grayson or tim drake again pick your okay there's the torso print now we have to go on with probably the worst of the set joker and that grin is just terrible so but he does have an exclusive face print so if you get a joker do not use this face. And use this face. Well, anyway, so on to the final route. I think that this is a set that is appeal to kids only. So, 
on a scale of 1 to 10, how I would rate this set. Um, well, onto the minifigures, I would rate all of them a 10 out of 10. Because, well, I, um, except for the Joker, I would rate a 7. Because that grin is just creepy. I don't know if I like that future. So, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think that I rate this set a, uh, whoops, I just dropped it, a 7. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see all of you in the next one tomorrow. Bye-bye. And as usual, I'm going to say it. It broke. Have a nice day.